What's up guys, it is that time again, it's time to make millions and today I'm going to collect my sales from the past two weeks, actually sort of like two weeks and two days, I've been slacking a little bit but you know it's been Dragonflight release so busy days, a lot of excitement to play the game so actually I'm a couple days late to record this but it is what it is and we're gonna check out the mailbox and before I start I want to mention that this is the first actual um, like the first entire cycle of the Shadowlands mission tables being nerfed. So in case you didn't know, I did make a lot of gold with that. And um, yeah, they were nerfed, but I think they just took down the like the, the gold rewards by like 90% or something. So that is no longer going to be able to generate any gold really for me. I'm still doing the mission tables to get the pet charms. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see, I guess, what my profit looks like, but I'm expecting it to be super bad. I was averaging between two and two and a half million usually, so we're gonna see in the end how we're looking. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, I guess. So, the first couple of sales here is like just a bunch of new Dragonflight materials that I am... I have not specifically farmed anything yet. I just picked up all this stuff through my like leveling and stuff like that. We do have a little Ben Fon pet, which is pretty nice at uh, like 14k gold or something. Burned Leather West, uh, West, a transmog, pretty nice. Couple nice pets in here as well. We have Steelborn Harnesses as always. That Legion Blood of Sagaras farming still definitely paying off. And yeah, not too much, just 160k in this first mailbox. And then we actually only have um, 190 mails today. For part of the time, my trade skill master was not really working. Also, like the last couple of days, I felt like nobody was really buying anything of the auction house. I guess people just leveling, so yeah, that's that. So let's go ahead and look at the remaining amount of sales here. We have another Steelborn Harness actually, which is nice. And then a bunch more pets. I am once again not gonna read out every single pet name, but you guys can, I guess, pause the video right now if you want to. And... Um, yeah, check it out if you want to see what I'm selling. Um, yeah, more pets. This one is actually... I don't think I've actually sold a Ranishu run before. 20k for that one, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, other than that, not too much to mention, I think. Let's just go ahead and collect everything. And by the way, I forgot to send my gold away this time, which what is what I usually do. I think I had like 80k or 81k. Um, I could check back now, but I'm pretty sure it was around 80k. So we're just going to keep that in mind. And that means that we just collected like 640,000 gold of sales within the last, well, like sort of like 16 or 17 days, I guess. Which is not too bad, but now of course comes the part where we check um, the other ways that I did to pick up gold. And now we're gonna see like how bad it is that yeah the mission tables don't work anymore for me. So I have it open on my other account uh, as well so that I can uh, instantly do the maths here. And I actually spent a lot of gold since last time as well. Um, so let's go ahead and type in 5101000 and then we're going to add the gold from my other account. Boom. Uh, that's going to put us at pretty much exactly 7.9 million. And I spent almost 3 million since last time. I spent 2.8 uh, something. So we're going to add that on top of it to find out our profit, of course. Because once again, I am not investing. Um, I am just basically... I what I can tell you what I, what I bought. So I bought uh, um, game time. I ca transferred characters from one account to another. And I also bought stuff of the... Blizzard shop, so yeah, not investing into any gold making, so that's why that gold sort of doesn't count um, as far as limiting the profit. So 10, 7, 2, 8, 0, 0, 0 is where we would be if we hadn't spent anything. That means that I have made uh, a 
quick maths, about 1.2 million since last time, which is actually more than I expected. I expected it to be worse, but that means that over the last 17 days, the like the nerf of the Shetlands mission tables cost me like it cost me like 800,000 gold. So yeah, it's it's like I probably made between like 1.5 to 2 million gold a month just with the raw gold of the Shadowlands mission table so definitely hurts for me that they are gone but gotta find other ways I guess so far I haven't really focused on any gold making in Shadowlands yet I might actually do some boosting I've been focusing a lot on player power leveling up three characters and like getting them geared and stuff um, but yeah so as I said a profit of about 1.2 million uh, within the last 17 days which is definitely still decent I am happy with that. I expected it to be worse, as I already mentioned. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say for today. Um, short and sweet, six minutes, not too bad. I like it. And that's going to do it for this video. So thank you for watching. Until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.